Something that a lot of people don't take into consideration is the fort is very isolated out here in the valley. How long does it take to travel from Fort Roberto to down east at Carlisle to supply Washington's army with that valuable lead that we've been mining here at the fort? Behind me is a workhorse of that time period. Conestoga wagons have been around since about 1770. 1717. Uh, designed and built down east. This is your tractor trailer of the um, colonial period. A Conestoga wagon this size, total capacity of about 10,000 pounds of cargo. That is a lot of weight to haul around. Uh, to use this wagon, we hook up either mules or horses, a team of four. One thing you'll notice too, with our Conestoga wagon and many times on TV, you will notice people riding in the Conestoga wagon on a bench seat or something like that. That may have come along a little bit later on in, its, in the Conestoga wagon's design. However, there is no seat on our early model. And this is a real wagon, by the way, from the um, late 1700s. This wagon spent about 100 days on the road, those tick marks that they would keep track of how many days they were on a road trip. You would walk either behind or beside, and you want to be beside or behind. You don't want to get your feet or legs stuck under these wheels with a loaded wagon. If your teamster or your wagoner is going to guide the wagon or, and its crew, he would ride on the left rear animal that's uh, hooked up to the front of the wagon. Keep in mind, got to have a good pair of shoes, got to be used to walking. And just for all of you that have come today, let's uh, use an example from here at Fort Roberto to Water Street is only about 13 or 14 miles in distance. On a Conestoga wagon that's loaded, that is a four to four and a half hour trip just for a simple 16 or 18 mile trip. Four and a half hours. That's a long way to go. And mom and dad often complain about the condition of the roads today. Potholes in the road, slush and ice on the roads. Think back to the colonial period in 1778, taking this wagon from here to Water Street over what is called a road. Lots of rocks, lots of bumps, trees to get around, as well as no bridges. So we have to cross the streams in the wintertime that are flowing high with water. But this is the freight. Um, hauler of the 1700s well into the 1800s as well. Haul that cargo from Fort Roberto to Water Street to the landing where it could be loaded onto flat bottom barges and floated down east to get those supplies to the Continental Army. <laughs>